Welcome. In this video, we're going to cover the company level PII scanning module. So first, you're going to make sure that you're at one of the companies. You'll then come over to the navigation, tap on the PII option. This will be broken into two sections where we've got the PII profiles and PII results. So just high level PII, if you're new to it, personable, identifiable information. So anything that could identify the identity of somebody, their name, their address, their phone number, social security number, driver's license, bank account, credit card, etc. Okay. So what we do here is we create a profile by tapping add and we give this a name. So we'll just call this Ryan's uh, scan profile two. You can either go crazy and select all, or you can call out specific types of data you're looking at. So bank accounts, that sounds important. Credit card sounds important and social security. So I'm going to call this Ryan scan profile for finance stuff. So once you have what you want selected below, you'll just keep making your way down. The, the PII scanning will automatically scan the green file types by default. You won't have to change check for those. Below that, you'll have additional extension types that we can be allowed to scan for. If you want to just go as deep and as wide as you can, you can select for everything. If you're wanting to target specific files, then you can target the extensions. I generally also include CSV and XLSM for Excel files. Generally, people like to store stuff there. Below that, you'll have a choose agent option where you'll see a list of your agents at that company. And it does require that there's an agent on the machine for a PII scan to run. And as you can see, you can choose all agents if you just want to scan the entire company. Or if you want to target specifics, you can pick off those machines accordingly. Files will automatically be selected as source type. And then you'll have an include and an exclude locations where you can drop in paths on what you'd like to scan. So if you want to target the entire C drive of a machine, you can just use the C colon. If you want to, you know, maybe target just the users folder, you can do users folders as well. You can do multiple paths here. So you can target as much or as little as more as you like to. Same with exclude. So once you drive those in, once you're all set here, you'll tap save and that'll create the scan profile. Once that scan profile is made, you can use that obviously to target a scan. So using that action menu, I can tap scan and that will kick off the PII scan right now. I can also edit and delete that scan profile from here as well. If I need to add additionals, tap add. PII results table will load up from this PII scan and show any detected PII that it thinks it found. Of course, uh, with PII scanning, there's always a risk of false positives. They run high. Uh, there, this is not perfect, of course, but it is meant, um, you know, it's meant to allow you to have some level of detection and scanning, but you still need to kind of QA quality check this stuff, report any false positives, and over time, it'll make the scan better, of course. So looking at the results pane, Again, it'll give you the profile name, what type of data it thinks it found, the source, the asset it came from, the total count of matches. We'll get the file path and the input URLs for it. You'll have an action item on the right to allow you to delete something off the screen. If you want to remove something that might be a false positive or data that's already been verified, you can remove it off the screen. You can tap down into these profile names if you want to see the additional data. You basically just tap on these areas and it will give you the detailed information about what it thinks it found, where it's at, where the file's sitting, when it was found, and the line number on the file that it thinks it sees the information. So this will give you or your technical team a great opportunity to explore exactly where without knowing you know, what it found. So again, if we think it found a credit card here, tells us, hey, there's a CSV file and it's on these three lines. So we do not expose nor store PII data in this tool. 
We simply make reference to where we think it might have been found, but the PII data is not actually disclosed in our tool nor stored here. So just FYI. Uh, PII data can also be viewed using the reports or dashboard view. So if you come to the dashboard under overview dashboard and switch up here to PII, I'm just typing to go to that. You can look at the PII scan dashboard and this will give you a view of everything that's been discovered for that company based on category and data types. And then of course you have the scan results table below that give you that detail. And then you'll have your options up top if you wanted to just hone in on you know specific data like the credit cards or maybe you wanted to go in and look at the names or addresses etc. So you got the PII scan dashboard available. You can also navigate to the reports and to our standard reports section there. Same thing, I'm going to use that search, PII, and we've got the PII scan results report in Word or Excel. Again, that can be printed, that can be scheduled for delivery, so you can get that on a recurring basis to your colleagues or to your customers. And that's again be found in our standard report section. As always, when we are in our PII tables or any of the screens that you're on you'll have actually I'm sorry before I go there I want to tell one more item on the results pane um, we've got toolbar options up here one are the jobs this is where you can see what PII scan jobs are running or taking place so I have one kicking off right now that I kicked off earlier scan completed jobs if you tap on the date you can see the information and detail on what it was processed and what it found can download those scan results of course from the job using the download arrows. You can also use the delete all records if you want to purge this out. So if you ran some testing and you just wanted to clean everything up you can hit delete all that'll purge all your records out. You could also just select them all from here and use this to purge them as well. Okay. As always if you're looking for additional info on these modules go to the module click on the help link. This will drive you straight to our PII results page where you can look at and explore what PII scanning options are out there. If you can't find the info you're after, get in touch with our support team, let us know, and we'll get you some help and we'll get it published.